Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Makita and I run the blog Glamazon Diaries and it is a fashion blog where I talk about fashion, size inclusive fashion, as well as travel, weddings, food, lifestyle content. I talk about it all and it is for the 20 something to 100 and something because style has no size or age. Today's video is an unboxing, and I'm going to be unboxing a few items that I've had. I actually got one of them about three months ago, three, three months ago, but I haven't opened it yet because I was waiting for spring to come, and today it's actually 72 degrees, which is amazing. I am so excited. So I'm wearing my Farm Rio dress, which I'm going to show you the full length version so you can see it. I actually was in the city earlier today. I went to Louis Vuitton and doctor's appointment. I'm okay. And then I came home and I said, you know what? Let me film this video and excuse, you might hear some helicopters running and hovering around in my neighborhood. So it's, I live in Park Slope and there's usually a lot of like news crews and things like that, that so there's always helicopters hovering for coverage. Anyway, so back to the unboxing stuff. So, so I'm going to do I this unboxing video. It's more of a high end, but I want to show you, like, I have a lot of nice things in my closet. I love nice things. Don't let anyone tell you that you do not deserve nice things because we all do. Um, we work hard and we deserve nice things to enjoy, right? With our hard earned money. I feel like we should be working to live, not living to work. So once I'm saved up, I have my savings all stacked up. I'm ready to like buy something nice for myself. And it's also an investment. So I have a few things um, from Louis Vuitton. I have some Chanel. I also have uh, an, one LA brand that I actually introduced you to this brand last year in my small business haul, which you should also check out. It's right here. I'm going to link it. But check out, check out this small business haul. You can find so many of my favorite designers that are small business and we love to support small business, correct? Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand, like a thousand people by my birthday, which is April 29th. So birthday gift from you to moi. Subscribe to my channel, s'il vous plaît. And turn on the ring notification button so that you're alerted every time I post a new video. But what did I hear? The sound of unboxing? Yeah. Let's open some boxes, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Actually, the other thing, so the earrings I'm wearing are from Amazon. They're actually a, a dupe from Zara, which I'm sure is probably a dupe, of, a dupe of something else, but I love these earrings so much. They go with everything in my closet. I mean, like, look at how beautiful they are. I love them. All the multicolored stones, and they're super, super affordable, so I'm going to link them as well for you. And the lipstick I'm wearing is Revlon. You know, I love my Revlon mattes. My 007, which is like that orangey red that a lot of you love. If you're from Instagram watching this, all y'all asked me about my fiery red, which is my Revlon Matte 007. This one is 025 called Insane. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love this color. Let's see. I love this color so much. Color is gorgeous, pigmented, and it doesn't cake, which is a bonus especially for mattes but Revlon makes some of my favorite matte lipsticks oh and I wanted to show you something I posted this on Instagram um, two weeks ago and so many of you went and bought it this is my acrylic rose box isn't she beautiful and you can as you can see it has all the roses and I love the box it's also from Amazon it takes 25 roses so you have to get two dozen and one the first box is this Chanel foundation that I got I love the packaging you know if you order from Chanel they always give you really beautiful packaging so that if you can't go in the store you still feel super super special actually I feel like all the all the luxury brands do that so you feel extra special so I'm going to unmask this velcro that's on the box and then let's open Miss Chanel up that's the foundation I always use. I love it. It's light to medium coverage and it feels amazing on my skin. This is the packaging right here. This is what it looks like. And it comes with a little bag full of goodies. So every time you order from Chanel, they ask you to select some samples. So I selected two samples, which are, I actually forgot what I got. 
Oh yeah, the Sublimage um, Eye. It's, this is for face scrub, sorry. The Sublimage Le Grain de Vanille, which is green vanilla. Vanilla grain, it smells like vanilla. And it is purifying and radiant revealing vanilla seed face scrub so I want to try that and then I also got the mask so I want to try these two and it comes in this nice cute Chanel pouch so it's a like nice little keepsake and then there's the beauty the bell this is the foundation this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box the Le Beige it's Le Beige Tiens Belle Mine Naturelle Hydration ha Y'all, like, I'm marrying a French man, I still can't pronounce French things. It's horrible. <laughs> so I'm getting, I got the B140, which is my color. This is the foundation color right here. And I'm almost out of the one that my old one. So I got a refill because I don't want to be out. I'm going to do one pump so you can see. That's a lot of pump. All right, and this is a $60 foundation, so I try to use it sparingly is the color and I'm going to swatch it for you so this is what it looks like but if you see closer to my skin tone right here it just blends perfectly um, and that's what I have on my skin right now I'm just buffing it in so you can see what it looks like all right so this is it right here blend 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 and this is what it looks like. It's so nice. It actually, it looks really good on my skin tone, as you can see right here. I'm wearing this and I have on primer. I use the Pat McGrath primer. But this is the foundation. It's amazing. A little goes a long way. So what I love about this, one, it's light to medium coverage and I can build. That's number one. Especially with the summer coming up, I don't want anything too cakey. So this is perfect for that. It has a light fragrance, so if you're not into fragrances, just know that this has a light fragrance. But I love it. It just smells luxurious. So um, this is sixty dollars, and I it, it kind of I feel like I use makeup maybe four times a week. So this lasts me about two and a half months, almost three months. Just I don't know how like it depends on how often you use your foundation and sometimes I use, I use a heavy hand so this foundation I love it is perfect for me I tend to get red or a lot of foundations are read red on my skin tone and this foundation is the only one or one of the few that I've actually found that doesn't read red it just looks neutral and perfect so this is like, this is my foundation. I love this. I love this color. Um, this is the B140 and they have a whole bunch of colors. When I saw that Chanel had my color, I was like, okay, we love Coco. What should I do? Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Next up is Mia Bakar. And Mia Bakar is an LA-based women-owned shoe brand, which is very important to support women-owned businesses. And I just love all her shoes. I have Actually, this is Mia Bakar. These ones, this is the Chris, Christie. That's I love these shoes. Look at the, the, the heel. It's just such a statement heel, and it looks so good. It's It goes with everything in my closet. So I have that one. I have a few. Uh, I, I have two more things from her. So Mia Bakar is, she is, she is just, she's killing it. When you open the box, you have your little booklet with info on how to contact them if anything is wrong and as well as an email and then look at look at the inside it's so darling oh my god so you have a newspaper and you open it up like this open open and then each foot comes in its own pouch look at that so this is right on Melrose, which is the right foot. It's so cute, right? So right on Melrose. And then you have left for Milan. Because, you know, I would love to be in Milan right now. So these are the two. This is um, the left and the right dust bag. And then let's see what is inside, shall we? Oh, yes, baby. Okay, so this is 
one of the Alessandra shoes. This is this is her, y'all. Feast your eyes on this little lady. She's so beautiful. Ooh, look at the heel. I love the the dual heel. It's like the metallic gold right here. You have a little bit of a lucite, and then you have the heel itself. And then, of course, she is dainty with a little bow right here. Oh, I love th these shoes are so pretty. These shoes are so beautiful. They're so pretty. Oh, um. So every uh, I just love her packaging, but this is a four inch heel. It's so 105 centimeters. So this is her. Her name is Alessandra. She is a gem. She's beautiful. This is perfect for a bride. Um, or if you're into neutrals, a lot of neutrals, this shoe is perfect for you. And I haven't worn her yet. I'm going to wear it. I don't know. Where am I going to wear it to? I hope T is going to take me on a date or something tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to see. I'm going to be like, can we go on a date so I can wear my new shoes? <laughs> okay. So you can straighten the bow so that you, it looks a lot more like a present. It has some metal inside it so that you can, or wire, so you can actually perfect the bow so it looks beautiful like this. And I love the heel. And the look at the heel. This is just ready to go out on the town. So this would be perfect for bridal. I would wear this with one of my ivory dresses. A lot of my dresses that I got for my wedding are in ivory, not pure white, because pure white sometimes is a little bit hard to photograph. So Alessandra by Mia Bakar is $745. It comes in a lot of different colors. Actually, they have the pink one that looks so pretty. If you are a pink girl or if you love pink, that shoe. Alessandra also comes in different heel heights. They have a flat and then they have a three inch and then they have, this is the, the tallest heel. I am short, so I love my heels. So this one I wanted in a taller heel and she is perfection. I cannot wait to wear her. Um, she might have to wait. Hmm. I guess I might replace her with, I might replace my old Louboutins with Alessandra. I don't know yet. We'll see. But these are really, really pretty. So next one is actually for summer. And I got these because, actually, wait. France is now allowing Americans to travel to France. Thank you, Emmanuel Macron. I'm so excited because now I can actually plan my wedding full speed. This, this is like the most amazing news ever. It, it happened, I guess it was announced yesterday. I was over the moon. I was texting everyone. I was like, buy your tickets because we're going. Um, if you don't know, my wedding is in France because my fiance is from France. So we're doing it there. And it is the easiest way for my family in Ghana to fly. They don't have to do deal with jet lag or anything like that. And there'll be only six hour flight from Ghana to France. So we're doing that. But I got this shoe specifically because I was like, I can see myself going to get a baguette or a croissant, a pain au chocolat with a coffee, wearing these shoes and a white dress. I don't know why, but that's what I, I had in my mind. So I saw these on Polo Ralph on Ralph Lauren's website and I had to get them. They are perfection. They look so good. They're beautiful. I want to show them to you before I actually uh, wore them. So of course you get the Ralph Lauren dust bag. I love dust bags, but I feel like now every shoe that I get has a dust bag and I have run out of space for dust bags. I'm just going to show you. This, my dears, is from Ralph Lauren. It's an espadrille. It's a ballerina. It looks like a point shoe with leather straps. It's all leather and raffia. Perfection. Look at the toe. I mean... Some of y'all might be like, ugh, I don't like it, but I love it, so that's all that matters. But I love the white. I It just, it is like the perfect neutral shoe for summer. And the platform, it's super uh, comfortable. But I love this, it just, it's all leather. It's a little bit more, slightly more expensive or pricey, but I love this. I can see myself wearing it with so many things from my denim dresses and skirts. Even this dress I can wear it with. And I can wear it with a lot of my white dresses that I plan on wearing for the summer. I mean, I told my friends I'm wearing all white, like bridal, starting in probably May, just because I want to live my best life being a bride, honey. So these are the shoes. Oh my God. They are 
just fabulous it's all leather which i love i love like i have most of my espadrilles are cloth they are um canvas these shoes are perfect for what i want to be wearing this summer i'm gonna wear these for my bachelorette party which we're doing in the hamptons in july i'm excited for that and i can see it me wearing them with so many things in my closet even jeans i can wear them with so these are just beautiful i think the only con is the fact that they're just a little heavy but you know it's very it's very very durable and i just hope i don't twist my ankle wearing them especially if it's in gravel or something like that but this is this is definitely a keeper ralph lauren has several espadrille styles on the website if you don't want the white one i saw a madras print which is super super cute and they also have a lot of espadrille flats that are more of a loafer style but these ones i just i had to i i had to pull the trigger they just look so dainty very ballerina ish and it will look really really good on the feet so i'm going to show you what those look like as well but these are these are my summer shoes these are my summer espadrilles and slightly a little bit pricey let's see how much they are i have to look on the website to let you know how much these actually cost these espadrilles are 248 dollars but they are so beautiful they look really good on the feet and comfortable enough to walk in i feel like if you have a larger foot size you might have to size size up by half this shoe goes up to and i'm checking for you it goes up to an 11 yeah it's from a size 5 to 11 but 11 is sold out but i got the 10 even though i wear a nine and a half i just want a little bit of room just to breathe especially because during the day your feet swell and i just don't want i just don't want my feet to look too um squished or feel a little too tight in me so i got the 10 a, a half size up size up if you and i don't think they have half sizes so you have to just go up a whole size go one up and not down but these love we're taking a break from the shoe category and we're going to into the bag category so this is a british brand that i've had on my radar for like three years now maybe a little bit more a little bit more i've always wanted to pull the trigger pull the trigger always i see it my friend olivia Jeanette has some strathberry bags and i like they are so they are beautiful bags and so they were nice enough to send me one of them they reached out to me about like earlier this month and they asked me if i wanted to try their bags and of course i'm like y'all have been on my radar for a very long time i just have not pulled the trigger so yeah i want one so they sent me their latest offering or the latest catalog for spring and i chose one of the bags that i know that i'll i'll wear a lot more or i'll have a lot of uses for i really don't like buying bags or getting bags that will just sit on my shelf what's the point of having a bag that's just gonna sit on a shelf and you're not using i think, I think it's just stupid uh, sorry for me if you like to have your bag sit on the shelf that's your prerogative you're it's your money you can do whatever you want with it but for me i think it's dumb i would not have that on i just i want to be able to use my stuff especially from spending money on it or even if it's being gifted i just think it's nice to just don't be wasteful strathberry is a british brand they make really beautiful leather handbags and and all their colors oh, love but for the spring i wanted something multi-toned like two-toned and they had the perfect color this bag i saw it it's the east west which is like longer on the like it's more long in the width than in the height east west so i got that one and it is ba -ba -bum. look how just chic this bag is it fits most of my stuff if i was going to go out i mean now we're not really going out because of covid but this bag is super cute i love the chain so it's double chain right here like that but you can also make it a single chain if you need to. And right here with the, you can, in the opening, it has a little metal bar right here. It doesn't seem like much, but like this is the inside. And it comes with a little magnetic, magnetic clasp right here. So that once you put the bag through, the, you put the handle, the lid through, your 
back to your bag. So this is it, and I'm going to show you what fits in this bag. So this is the East West Mini. They have a bigger version of it. So I have my iPhone. I have my camera that I'm going to put in here. My lipstick in there, which I put my mirror, my Chanel mirror. So for touch-ups, she can actually pack a punch. I have in here my iPhone, my mirror, my camera, and a lipstick. And then also I have room for my small wallet. Or you can just put your credit card and your ID in there without the actual wallet if you want to have room. But it's really cute. And it goes with, I love the navy and the pink together so that I can actually color coordinate a lot more. Hint, hint, this is a good color block for anybody that's looking to color block. But I love this bag. It retails for $5.95. I feel like this I can wear with a lot of things. Actually, I can wear with this bag, this dress. It's so cute, right? As a chain, just one strap like that. Or you can also do it crossbody like this. This is the Strathberry bag, East West Mini. And she is coyote. I love it. Love. So thank you, Strathberry. And it had been on my list for a while. So I'm glad that they sent me a bag. That's the perk of being an influencer. It's really, really nice. Thank you, guys. All right. Last, last but certainly not least. Actually, wait. I saved the best for last. I did. I saved the best for last. You go and save the best for last. That's right. This is my Louis Vuitton. So these shoes, I let's just backstory. I saw these shoes on the website back in February. And at that time, they only had, the, it was sold out in almost every size. And I'm like, oh crap. This is going to be one of those shoes that by the time I actually want to pull the trigger, it's going to be sold completely out. So I was like, I had to pull some strings, use my connections and be like, yeah, I need these shoes and y'all need to like give it to me. So, um, the shoe, they only had one pair in my size in Louis Vuitton sizing. I wear a 41. So they located it in Michigan. What was it? Chicago. They located it in Chicago. So in the Chicago store, the Chicago Louis Vuitton store, they had one last pair left. So they called them. They're like, you need to have, the there's this crazy girl that wants these Louis Vuitton shoes and please send them to me. So they actually shipped it to the Fifth Avenue store in Manhattan, which is where I went to go pick them up. So these shoes came from Chicago by way of France and they are, I haven't worn them yet. I can't wait to wear them. I'm going to wear them for my birthday because I, and I have the perfect dress to go with them. So these shoes, the, I'm so excited. I'm ready. I'm just ready to open it. I kind of, all right, I can't, I don't, I don't want to open it, but I do because if I don't open them, I won't be able to wear them. <laughs> I'm so brand new. Okay. So let's open this Louis Vuitton bag. Okay. These are the Louis Vuitton Starboard Wedge Espadrilles, and they are, be still my heart, be still my heart. I can't sing, but for these shoes I can. I'm kidding. These shoes are so pretty. I just, I saw them and I said, I, I love the color combo. The color combination is just sublime, and they have two colors. This one, they have the yellow. But this colorway, the orange with the blue Louis Vuitton logo, it's these, I really, I think they're such a statement and they look so good. Look at, look at this. And then, so it's blue with an orange and this, the, the, the way that they, the, the yarn that they used, it just, it looks so stellar. So these espadrilles run, they go for about $8.75. Louis Vuitton shoes, for me, they tend to run small, so I always go up a size. So I got these in the 41, and I, like usually I would wear a 40, but I just wanted to be on the safe side, go to 41. There have been times where I've actually gotten a 42 in Louis Vuitton, and it just depends. Like, I honestly have to say, go to the store and try them on, because, like, or if you're able to go to the store, go to the store and try them on, because then you'll be able to actually feel how like what the fit 
it's a hit or miss for me. I, there are some that I actually wear my true size and then a few other a few other styles that I end up getting a bigger um, size. For instance, my arch lights. These arch lights, I end up getting them in my true size. They're, these are one of my favorite shoes ever. I wear them too often. I actually need to use Mr. Clean on them. But the arch lights, I actually got them in my regular size, which is the 40. This one, I got the 41 because, again, the toe area, you just don't want to be in the summertime. It's hot, it's sweaty, your, sh your feet are swelling. You want your shoes to be as comfy as possible. So I always want to comfort and style, yes, but definitely comfort, especially in the summertime. So I got these in the 41, and if they're too, if they're a little too big, I'm going to put the anti-slip um, insoles in here so they'll just be a lot more comfortable. But I, let's just, let's just talk about the anatomy of this shoe. So of course it has the, the LV logo, which is right all over the toe of the shoe. And then you have the, on the back, you have the logo of course, again, on the back, you also have the logo right here and here. So it's super cute, the flower. And then you have the orange canvas ties so she is magical i love the two-tone i can co color coordinate again another color color combo if you're looking to coordinate or color block there you go you have blue and orange and the, a little bit of splash of cream this shoe is really pretty and then on the bottom of course it has the on the bottom it has the vuitton logo and then it says it is made in italy so it's made in italy this is the wedge. The wedge part is not too high um, compared to my, I think they're the same height over here as the Ralph Lauren ones, but it's not as over here. The, the toe box area is a lot lower, so it slopes more instead of the Ralph Lauren one. But I, I love these shoes. I wanted them. I've wanted them since I saw them. I like, I've never actually had to bum rush a store for them to like actually call in and find it for me and all that like a diva but for these I had to and they're so like I'm so happy that I got them also the other thing so LV they I mean I guess when you spend $875 they're gonna give you an extra pair of ties and it's just the regular color the color the neutral color that goes with the actual shoe I wish they gave you the orange, I mean the yellow one too, or like just a different color. I'm just like, come on y'all, like, can we get, anyway, I, I'm just thankful that they gave me a second color to use for my shoes. But these are, like, I can't wait to wear them out, uh, but I'm going to wait until my birthday because it's, they're special. They're like, they're $875. They're very special shoes. Um, I don't really spend that much money on my shoes. Well, I lied. I do. But I, I usually get my shoes on sample sale. That's a, New York, that's a New Yorker secret. I get my shoes, a lot of them, on sample sale. So um, my Christian Louboutins, my Jimmy Choo's, and Manolo's, those are sample sale stuff. There are a few that I've actually gotten whole, like full price, but, well, actually, who am I kidding? I've also gotten them on sale on Bergdorf Gitman's website or the Outnet or Net Porter. But these shoes, Louboutin sadly does not do sales, so... We pay full price, but they're so pretty. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, Yeah, these come in two different colors. And then just like all the other retailers or designers, they also have the flats version. So if you cannot do a heel or if you can't do high, they have the flat version. So they look like loafers and they're equally as stunning. But for me, I like my height. I'm going to link everything in the description for you if you want to check out anything that I talked about today but these are my some of my favorite things and I wanted to do this fun unboxing and just to see if I had the chutzpah um, to actually do an unboxing and I think I did I think I like I think I succeeded thumbs up for me yeah these are some of my newest acquisitions and I'm so excited for them I'm so excited for spring the weather is finally nice like it was 72 degrees today actually probably a little bit higher and I'm here for it, except I can't wait for, it's going to get to like the 90s and then we're all begging for fall. That's, New Yorkers, we're so annoying. Like in the winter, we want spring. In the spring, we want summer. In the summer, we want fall. Fall. 
hey, you know, c'est la vie. I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Out of the 37 million YouTube accounts, you chose mine. So thank you. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video and leave me a comment. Questions, concerns, leave them and I will reply back. Until next time, please have a fun and safe weekend. I will see you soon. All right, bye.